Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Stuart again. Uh, we're going to take our application that we've written for Node.js and we are going to make it ready to run on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Here is our app and I'm going to walk you through all of the steps. You can, of course, go get the source code and look for yourself. But actually, it's relatively straightforward. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a cfignore file. And you can actually go to GitHub, Git Ignore, and get a list of all of the default ignore files for different kinds of projects. And I went and got the one for Node, and then I modified it mostly by removing stuff I knew I wasn't going to need. The second thing we had to do was we needed to edit our package.json file and just add explicitly what our... Uh, node and NPM uh, runtime engine versions were, and that will hugely speed up the process of trying to deploy your Node.js app onto PCF, but more importantly, it'll tell PCF what version of the runtime you want your app to run as. And that's pretty much it. I didn't have to change my application at all, although I did fix one bug for this release, so you'll see a change to app.js. And then I just made myself a little command line to push Swagger Compare uh, using the Node.js build pack. And I told it how to start my app, which is Node App.js. We have our command shell open. This is the Visual Studio command shell. And you could use PowerShell if you wanted. One little unhappy note is that at the time of this video, you can't CF login in Git, the Git shell for bad. And if we hit return, we're going to see it kick off. And it's going to do the standard PCF process, which is it's going to upload Swagger Compare Web. And because we made a CF ignore file, it's only going to push the source files that are absolutely essential uh, into my droplet. And then we don't have to worry about doing an NPM I to restore all of our packages during the build of the droplet, it's actually going to do all that for us. And you can actually see that going on. So you can see it picked our Node.js build pack. It extracted, the build pack extracted our Node and NPM versions. It did a restore. It's building out the Node environment for the droplet. And it's going to go through all the different steps to build our Node application. You can see it just did the package restore, and it's uploading the droplet, and it's destroying the container that it used that to make the build pack, and now it's going to take our droplet and try to deploy it, and you can see it successfully deployed our, our instance, and if we go to our endpoint, this will be different for you, of course. And we say start HTTP, and you can see there is our favorite Swagger Compare Web now running in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. 